Hi, I'm Malik Sordon from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. DaVinci Resolve 15 introduced a lot of enhancements into editing your keyboard shortcuts. Let's take a look at it. One of the most impressive changes added to DaVinci Resolve 15 is the ability to assign the same keyboard shortcuts to different tasks in different windows. So, the same keyboard shortcut can be assigned to a certain task in Edit, a different task in Fusion, a different task in Color, Fairlight, Deliver, and even Media. So, let's take a look at an example. I'll go to Preferences, I'll make sure I'm on the User tab, and here I have an option for keyboard mapping. If I click it, these are the keyboard shortcuts I can edit in Resolve. So for example, I can open this drop-down menu, double-click on any keyboard shortcut. Now that I have it highlighted, if I click on any key on my keyboard, it will be assigned to this particular shortcut. We've always had this in Resolve. However, the new thing is this drop-down menu here. Now, you can assign the same keyboard shortcut for different tasks in different windows. So for example, I'll go to Edit, and then edit here and look for the shortcut ripple. I have ripple delete here. I'll double click and I'll assign it to the letter D. So the letter D on my keyboard will be assigned to ripple delete in the edit tab. Great. I'll hit save here and Resolve is asking me to give this preset a name. I'll name it preset one. Now, if I go back to keyboard mapping, note that I'm loading preset one. Now I'll hit save again. Note now that if I select any clip and I press the letter D on my keyboard, I just performed the ripple delete. Great. Now let's assign the same letter on the keyboard to a different shortcut in color, for example. I'll go back to preferences and I'll switch the keyboard shortcuts I'm controlling from edit to color. Now I have the color keyboard shortcuts loaded here. I'll go to color, reset, all grades and nodes, double click, and change the keyboard shortcut to D. And I'll hit save here and save. So now I have D set to reset all grades and nodes. So for example, I'll make the image really red, add a new node and reduce the exposure. And now by simply hitting the letter D on my keyboard, I just reset all grades and nodes. This is great. So now we have the same letter D set to perform a certain task in the edit tab and an entirely different task in the color tab. This is one of the most important additions to DaVinci Resolve 15. If you like this, please visit us at LearnColorGrading and FilmSimplified.com to join our free course about the basics of color grading in DaVinci Resolve 15. Thank you.